Hi, I'm Stacy, and in this video I will show you how to use another Catwin block, Media and Text Slider, for building your own website. It is a customizable slider with editable slide and text animation effects that will look great as a front page hero, brand message or promo slider. It is a bit more advanced version of the GetVid image slider block as it allows adding animated text content over your media. The media and text slider block is an optimized lightweight addition to your page and it will not slow down your website's performance like specialized slider plugins do because our block was created using native WordPress tools. Make sure that the latest version of the GetWid plugin is installed and activated on your website so that you have access to its custom set of blocks in your website editor. Then open a page that you want to edit and click the plus icon to find the media and text slider block in the GetWid blocks section. Click on the block to add it to your page. By default, it has three slides, but you can add more by clicking the plus icon or change the number of slides on the right. Each slide can be renamed, but the names are not displayed for website visitors. They are there only for your own convenience. Start by uploading an image to your slide or selecting one from your media library. Go through the general settings of the block to adjust the settings for the whole slider. Apart from the number of slides, we can select the size of your images and minimum height of the slider. By default, it is as tall as its content. The height can be specified in pixels, viewport height, viewport width, and percentages. We can also make it full width in the top panel. Below, we define the width of content within slide. Its vertical alignment, top, middle, and bottom, and horizontal alignment, left, center, and right. In the Styles tab, we can change the look of overlay opacity between text and your background image to make the text pop even more, as well as choose text and overlay colors. GetWit suggests the colors of your theme to make the editing faster but you can select any custom color too. Padding settings are the space between your slide content and the borders of the slide. We can adjust different paddings for top, bottom, left and right or click the lock icon and the same padding will be automatically used for all instances. All animation settings can be found in the advanced tab. Text animation effect is how text appears on a slide. There are almost 60 animation variations for you to select from. Duration is how fast this animation plays out and delay is how much time should pass after the slide is displayed and before your text appears. For example, if it is set to 1000 milliseconds, your text will appear one second after the slide itself was loaded. If you set it to zero, the text will appear immediately. For slider animation effect, choose how your slides change, whether they slide or fade. Enable slideshow and they will change automatically. Otherwise, users will need to navigate through the slider themselves using arrows and dots. Both can be located outside, inside the slider or hidden. If the slideshow is enabled, you can choose whether you want the slideshow to be paused when your visitor hovers over your slide to give them more time to view the contents. You can also select the slideshow speed, which is how often your slides change. And animation speed is how long it takes for a slide to fade a slide. In the advanced section, add any custom CSS class if you want to customize the styles of the slider even more. As for the content of your slides, by default, heading and paragraph blocks are added, but you can move, remove them, or add other blocks to each slide. There is a large variety of blocks that you can choose from to add to each slide content. It is not only text, but also icons, buttons, links, and other interactive content. 
refer to our playlist of tutorials to find out more about these blocks. I hope it was informative, and if you have any questions left, please ask them in the comments below, or just share what you think about this block. Also, like the video if you liked it, and subscribe to stay up to date with our WordPress tutorials. Thanks for watching, and have a great one!